my grandmother, my dear grandmother, mm -hmm. uh, her relationship advice was that you should make a list of the top 10 things that you really must have in your relationship. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And then if you ever get a relationship that has one of the things on the list, marry that person and just be happy and give up on the rest, give up on the other nine. <laughs> and, and she was, you know, if it, it's not exactly the best advice either. Right? The, the word battle axe, I think, was 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 coined for this woman. She was just um, all her juiciness and like femininity and stuff had been forgotten you know years and years and years ago um, and that's not the best advice either just you know forget these important parts of who you are yeah yeah so so um if if, if that's not the right advice uh if the right advice isn't necessarily if you run up against like just like this story that we're telling you run up against wanting to feel free wanting to be individuated and sovereign and feeling like uh, you're not being supported in that, like the relationship is caging you in. If the answer isn't, well, throw away that man, throw away that woman, that relationship, whatever you're in, isn't the right advice. And oh, give up on those freedoms and uh, let go of all of the rest of the things you want in order to just keep the relationship is not the right advice. So what is the right advice? Like what what do we do in that instance? And what we, we what we want to want to show you right now is that the way out of that anxious and avoidant cycle um, is to do something sort of counterintuitive. And um, when there's fear in the system around your lovability, it becomes anxious and avoidance. And as you start to resolve that fear, um, what happens is the remedy, if you're on the freedom side, wanting more freedom and you're avoidant, which is happens to be when you're usually on the freedom side, you happen to move away and be a little bit more avoidant, a little less committal so that you can be free spirited. The remedy for that is to give your partner more devotion, right? And if you're on the anxious side and you're being really clingy, the remedy for the anxious cycle to unwind that is to give your partner in that moment more freedom and to really champion their freedom. So anxious and avoidant becomes freedom and, devo and, and devotion. And so this allows you to have both your sovereignty and connect to your unity. And when you have this cycle and realize these remedies, then you don't have to sacrifice one for the other, that you create a relationship that isn't either free or devoted, um, but it is has freedom and devotion. And this was really the opening of our relationship when we even began, because we noticed that most of us, even if this isn't ex explicitly stated, most of us, when we enter into a relationship, and this felt like common culture, like this is this is like the common advice uh, given that we were sort of swimming in when we met. We were like, okay, so we can either um, give up a little bit of our freedom in order to be in this relationship with one another and then feel like, of course, that's worth it, right? Because I'm getting this incredible man in my life and, and the, I'll devote myself to him and give up a little bit on me feeling all the way free because what I'm getting in return is so much grander. And so we make that deal. We say, okay, I'm willing to give up some of my freedom for devotion. Or we're in the single category at the moment. And we're like, okay, so I'm willing to give up having a, a you know a, a committed and a devoted partner, so that I can have my freedom. And for be me, myself, yeah. I can be myself. I can do what I want when I want, and it's okay because all of that freedom is so worth it. Giving up on that devotion, and Brian sort of hinted at this, and I just want to underline it, which is we really can't if we enter into that bargain. Uh, which many of us do, we, we can't, we like explicitly or implicitly give up on one of these two values, then what we're breeding is a relationship that will eventually fall apart in the resentment because um, we have to feel free. Like this is a core value. When we feel caged in our relationships, when we don't feel free, we start to wither and die a little bit inside. 
right? And that, that even though in the beginning, it feels like the amount you're giving up is small and the amount you're getting is big, that little bit that you're giving up as you pile on the years starts to get loud enough that resentment kills the relationship. Um, similarly, devotion, we need to feel loved and connected in relationship. They've done even animal studies that will show that uh, a a, a rat will choose uh, like feeling loved and connected uh, over even food and feeding themselves if given the choice, if they have to choose between the two. It's that core to who we are. And we will literally wither and die without that feeling of devotion and love and connection in our lives. So if that's the case, if we fundamentally need to feel all the way free and all the way devoted and connected to one another. How do we resolve this paradox, um, this seeming paradox where we feel like we need to give up on on one one or the other?